Hey all, I've got a pretty quick video here, uh, but I really want to underscore the importance because I think that this video sort of is the secret to unlocking Infusionsoft's reporting. Uh, there are some uh, perspectives or, or opinions out there that Infusionsoft's support reporting is relatively weak, and um, I think that oftentimes it's a either a lack of understanding or a misunderstanding of the way that you can manipulate the data or, or extract the data from Infusionsoft. So at any rate, uh, this question is from a good friend of mine, PJ, uh, down with the Australian Business Women's Network. Um, and he says, uh, he's one of my MonkeyPod Grove members, and he asked, um, hey, it's a quick one. Rather than creating a tag application report in marketing, is there a way to create a report in the contacts section based on the date range that a tag has been applied? And uh, another friend of mine, uh, one of the MonkeyPod Grove experts, Justin Roberts, recommended using um, a campaign uh, to achieve, so when the tag gets applied, it achieves a goal, and then you can do the goal completion report under marketing to uh, see how many and which contacts uh, had that applied because that report allows you to use some different date ranges. So if we look at this from a higher level, what we're trying to find is um, you know, a piece of data that isn't, uh, it's not very straightforward, right? Where we're trying to find the fact that a tag was applied, but not just that it was applied, we wanna find only the people who got this tag during this specific date range. And um, if we take a look at a contact, right, over on the tags tab, there is, of course, a date associated with each tag. But if we're searching our contacts section, so if we're doing a search here, um, we can search based on when uh, a contact was created or when it was updated, um, but we don't really have the ability to say when it was updated with this particular tag because they could have that tag and have had some other update happen. So that's kind of the challenge here. So PJ um, has used and indicated that he was using the tag applications report, which is generally how you would find this information. So you would say, start over. I want to find all the people who have this tag in this particular date range. But the challenge with that is that this is a static date range. So it really only shows you people during that calendar date range. And in addition to that, um, in PJ's scenario, he only wants to see people who got that tag during that date range that also have a couple of different custom fields set to specific values. So he's got other criteria. And this uh, doesn't actually give him that information. Sure, he could find the tag, set the date range, and then he could apply a new tag to just that audience, and then he could go to his contact section, and he could search for that new tag and uh, add the appropriate you know, custom field selections, that sort of thing, so he could get there in kind of a roundabout way. Um, let's take a look at Justin Roberts' uh, suggestion, and he's an Infusionsoft employee. Uh, he was an outstanding coach, and now he's a, he's a manager there. He does a great job um, thinking of creative solutions here. So he recommended using the campaign goal completion report. So if applying that tag also achieves a goal, well, what this gives you the ability to do is search based on a date range again. Uh, and this allows you to use custom fields. So we're one step closer. Uh, but the challenge is it doesn't give you a dynamic date range as well. So let's say you needed that to be rolling, right? You wanted to find people who filled out or got that tag last week or last month or something like that. Um, well, there isn't an easy way to do that uh, built in. So the method that I'm going to recommend here, and this is what I believe the key to unlocking Infusionsoft's reporting is, is called, uh, it's just tag-based reporting. So let's call this a reporting uh, campaign. And it's really pretty straightforward. Uh, and I use this in almost all of the metrics that I want to measure. So in this scenario, we'll start it with the uh, tag is applied, right? So this could be whatever tag you want to track. Uh, so for PJ, uh, this is his, uh, whichever tag that is, right? And any time that this tag is applied, it starts this campaign. And nothing happens in this campaign to the customer, right? There's nothing customer facing. So uh, this will just be our reporting tags. 
And basically what we're going to do is we're going to apply additional tax. So this one will be, um, you know, uh, this week, right? And then what I'm going to do is actually add a timer. And the delay timers have some unique functionality that a lot of people don't use. But if we set this to no delay, then we can wait until a specific day of the week. And, you know, we can wait until Sunday, specifically at 12 a.m. So that would be midnight, right? And then we would uh, pretty much just remove that tag. So what that gives me uh, is I can f I know that anyone who has this tag, right, the this week tag, uh, I know that they got this tag this week, right? And then I can extrapolate that a little bit further, right? So repeat the process. And here we go. And now we're applying uh, last week, right? Last week. So after the this week tag has been removed, then they'll get, and I actually would create a category called reporting tags uh, because I do a lot of these. And I, instead of this last week or this week, I would probably be more specific as to what that objective was. Uh, but let's say this is my last week tag. Uh, well, again, I just wait until the following Sunday at midnight, and you could do Monday at midnight or, or, or whichever. Um, and this time, instead of this week, we are removing last week. So now what I have is criteria the, that tells me that somebody had the tag applied this week or somebody had the tag applied last week. And uh, I'd actually like to do the same thing, um, but instead of doing weeks, I also do months. Because a lot of the reports that Infusionsoft gives you, they allow you to search month to date, but they don't allow you to search last month. They might give you last 30 days or last 60 days, but you know it's not the same as last month. So let's do this month, create, and then we'll put that in the reporting category as well. And then over here, we're going to remove uh, this month. And uh, instead of the Sunday, I choose day of the month and I just choose last and it happens at, you could do, actually I would do first day of the month instead because midnight, uh, 12 a.m. rather, is the very first time on the first. Uh, or you could do 11.45 p.m. on the last day. It doesn't really matter there. Um, and then again, uh, you know, you could draw this out a couple of other levels to have last month. Uh, and like I said, these are uh, basically just tags that, measure when this initial goal took place. So if you're looking at purchases and you want to see purchases that happened this week or last week or this month or last month or the month before, right? The beauty of something like this is that it's rolling. So um, in addition to having that immediate data, it's going to be uh, updated uh, in real time anytime you want to use this. So you can set up your saved searches and saved reports without any real concern for having to update them because instead of using the static or kind of clunky date ranges, uh, you'll be using these tags, which you know are gonna be each week, this one will be removed and then this new one will be applied. Or each month, this one would be removed and this new one would be applied. And you can carry that on as long as you'd like. Um, so now, instead of using any of those reports that had static date ranges, uh, PJ, what you can do and what anyone else can do is just run a contact search the way that you would have with any of the criteria that you would have needed, right, custom fields or otherwise, and then you just include and they have the last week tag or the last month tag or the this month tag or uh, the this week tag, right, any of those tags and you know that the, the audience is going to change dynamically as people move through that reporting campaign that you just built. So just in summary here, uh, I recommend doing some sort of structure like this and having a batch of reporting tags for products or opt-ins or, or any creative searches that you, you need that have a unique date range interval. Because if you look at the various reports that are available, like let's take our e-commerce uh, order search, right? Um, you have some interesting criteria here and you can, you can pretty easily filter to a purchase date or today, last seven days, last 30 days, last 90 days, uh, month to date, year to date. And you can do days before and days after today. Um, but if you wanted to do something 
like last month versus this month, right? That just gets a little bit more challenging or two weeks ago or three weeks ago, right? It gets a little bit uh, harder to manipulate the built-in parameters to give you that information. So um, setting up a reporting campaign like this and having a set of reporting tags hopefully unlocks the reporting a little bit so that you can create the saved searches without having to jump through as many hoops to find that information. Um, if this makes sense to you, uh, hopefully it makes your life a lot easier. If it doesn't, uh, please feel free to ask questions and I will do whatever I can to clarify. Um, and maybe uh, this should end up being a blog post, so you might see that coming out as well. Later.